Yeah, good afternoon everybody. It's the 23rd of December, believe it or not, and it's a beautiful, actually you say summer's morning, it's absolutely fabulous. I'm just going to have a quick run through and show you one or two things while I've done through the beginning of the winter months, just getting ready for the breeding season. Right, first of all I'll take you down to my bird room. Right. Through the month one, winter months I've been coming in here, I've been cleaned down, washed down, everything washed down. Uh, all the stuff you see around me, it's, all that will be put back properly. I'm just going to show you where all the cages all the way through. They've all been painted all the way. It's absolutely beautiful, nice and clean. Now what I've done to start with, I washed it all down with bleach and uh, 10 ml of bleach and 10 ml of paraffin in a bucket, a little bit of washing up liquid, really give, stir it up, come in here and if you've got a squirty bottle, squirting all the joints and crevices that you can see, all the way along the front, in the, ca the cages inside, on the bottom, or everywhere, just spray it, leave it for a day, the smell is going to be a bit strong, but just leave it for a day. Come back down the next day with a big bucket of clean, soapy water and then just wash it all down. And I can guarantee you, anything that's moving and crawling in here, it, it's dead, gone. I do it every year and I don't get any problem with mites or uh, anything else. Uh, now, the paint I've used uh, for painting it, I've used a Johnson's eggshell paints. That's it there, in the hands. Johnson's eggshell paints. Uh, one coat all the way around. Uh, honestly, the smell in here is just nice, fresh and beautiful. All I've got left to do in here is the ceiling and the front of the cages just paint up. Put the wire fronts back on, which I shall paint with a, a, a garage door metal paint, which is uh, one of the strongest metal paints you can get. They uh, just need a quick brush over because I do them every year, and the, the birds can't peck at it. Uh, it's so hard, and it's nice. So you just wipe them down through the year with a damp cloth, and then at the end of the breeding season, proper good clean all round. So that's where I am up to here. So what I'll do is. I'll bring you back in here, after I've set back up, before I put anything in there, I'll show you the finish product when it's all put back together. I'll take you out to my ivories. Oh, so I'm rushing this because I ain't got a lot of uh, video time. And this is the outside of one of the ivories. Uh, the birds are out there. They're just a bit laughing, you can see some of bits. I'm going to go inside now, the other side. Uh, there we are. Coming into this first ivory. Uh, see what I've just fed them this morning. And a bit of hanging bird basket, uh, feeders with a bit of broccoli in and some uh, fat balls. Now if I just push it through the next side. Now that's down in the other ivory, but it's all the way through, and the bullies and the goldies are down there. I don't know if you can see a couple of them on the perch there flying out. There's about three or four bullies, five goldies, two, definitely two pair of bullies in there, five goldies. Uh, and then, uh, you know, what's, I don't know what's actually, until I come to sort it out. Uh, all, that's, all that's been cleaned out the last couple of weeks, so that won't need to be done now for a few weeks. And just all look, uh, you know, getting all nice and fresh. See the bully just fly up there and then he flew into the camera. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, there's another one down there there on the perch, got in there. There's one coming up, it's gone back down again. So that's where we are there. Uh, here's all the old diamorphics and red factors. They love it, they love it in here. I love sitting out with a cup of tea watching. Right. I'm going back up to the other side now and see what I can see up there. Obviously I'll give you a quick look at my fish. There they are. Oh, yeah, 
lot of when I was cleaning pond in the window once because you have to stop feeding. There's just that filter down there I've got to clean out later on. I've turned the fountain off there but the water pool is still giving. That's still on the move. Uh, great. Well, that's thanks for all nice fresh. As you can see I said it was Christmas week my missus has got their whole load set. Now I don't know if anybody's going to be interested but I'm cutting back on cages this year. I've got two two or possibly three double breeders. The two are definitely going. And I've had them uh, I had them specially made up rods. So I want twenty pound a piece for the two or I want thirty five uh, twenty pound each for the two or I'll take thirty five pounds for the two pair. So it's twenty pound each or thirty five pounds for the two cages. If anybody's interested I will give you my uh, email address now, which is barryfay9 at gmail.com. So, there you are. We've had a little view around. Now, when I get all finished and uh, set up, I'll give you another video and I'll send it on to you. But this is what happens now. After Christmas, all the bird men like us are going to be there getting the birds ready leading up to the breeding season and sunny four or five months away uh, so just you know I'll be just potting it around now because I've done most of it and getting make sure everything's ready make sure the birds are in good condition and it's just a matter of pairing up and away you go so you lads out there you know you've got plenty of time now in the winter months after Christmas in the new year just pop out down the shed a bit of pottering around right catch us all later bye now Come off.